We are back with another bow and tee video. I'm trying to keep up with these launches, but damn, if they're not quick as hell, I'm already behind a launch. I know they're having another launch soon on April 1st, so if you're interested in that one, I know there's a lot of solid, dark, deep colors like staple blacks in that one, so if you'd like to see that, let me know, comment down below. But for right now, we're reviewing the Accelerate. This collection, in case you're unfamiliar, is a seamless range acid wash design. That's what glued me to it, and the fact that they had some scrunch leggings as well. You know, I had to test them out. Out, right? I'm a sucker for the scrunch. In case you haven't noticed from this channel, we got a trend going on. If there's a scrunch, I'm gonna get it. Bowen T's really good with their color palettes. I noticed in this one, it was a lot of spring colors, a lot of pinks and purples and teals. The teal is the one that I tried so hard to get my hands on and I failed miserably. In fact, all my top picks were sold out, so I got left with a mix and match, but no problem, because I like to mix. They had a variety, like shorts, leggings, even flare leggings. Did you happen to see that? I'm actually seeing flare leggings everywhere now. It's a hit. Speaking of which, did you see Gymshark launch the pause flare? I need to get my hands on that. That should be in any day, and I will be reviewing that for you guys, so do not get it twisted. So what I have here today, I only have a couple pieces. I snagged one of their regular leggings, petite, because I'm 5'3", and I always need to opt in to grab a petite legging, if available. And I grabbed one of their keyhole crop tops. That bra, when I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's the one. That's it right there. But putting it on was a little bit of a different story, which you will see in a couple of seconds. But in the meantime, if you have not already, definitely subscribe to this channel. We do a ton of activewear reviews, lots of Instagram brands. We're also dipping into a ton of mainstream as well. So if it's new and trendy, chances are we will be reviewing it on this channel. We also do unreleased hauls as well from really popular Instagram brands like Buff Bunny, Gymshark, and Alpha Lee. I'm gonna be doing a lot more bow and tee reviews Views, but definitely stay posted because up next we have some women's best, a Lululemon, and Hollister. Okay, we're, we're really going ham on some mainstream here. And also be sure to follow me on my other social platforms to stay up to date on restocks, what's up next, launches, and styling inspo. So let's check out the pieces that we have in today's review. So again, we have the regular sprinter leggings in the petite. Okay, no flare in this one. First impression, we have a nice decent moderate stretch going on in these leggings. An all over rib, I feel like that is such a bow and tee staple. They are just, they love their rib. I'm not complaining, not something I typically wear to the gym, but maybe. They do market this legging as being a sprinter legging, so really good for speed and running. Hmm, I don't know about that. But if you do sweat in this, I'm almost positive you ain't gonna see it because look at this acid wash. Are you seeing this? I love acid wash. It gives such a vintage look to any type of clothing. One of the very first things I noticed about this particular collection was their branding. Check out this plastic logo piece that they are using right on the back of the band here. It actually stretches out. It looks like it's held on by almost like a ponytail. Do you see that? but I'm actually noticing it constantly flipping backwards, so it's kind of annoying. But other than that, I can see the uniqueness in having the logo presented that way, but that's just flipping. You see that? It's flipping all over. If you look up close on this legging, you will see a ton of different thickness in rib, which is how they present their contouring. So you actually have contouring around the glutes, around the like kneecaps. You have all sorts of movement with different styles of rib. But let's talk about that scrunch. Oh man. Do you see how that acid wash is just highlighting that scrunch? Beyond belief right now. The ruching is so much darker than the actual cheek area. <laughs> so you can't help but get your eye right there. And I know if you're anything like me, like I want my scrunch to look as subtle and natural as possible. That's what I prefer. So I have a feeling this is gonna be, this is definitely gonna be a butthole effect. I just know it. I got the keyhole crop vest in violet. I clearly got the keyhole because it's extremely sexy and when I'm buying Bowen T, I kinda wanna look sexy or else why would I buy from Bowen T? The zipper's kinda hot, <laughs> but I'm a little bit upset that there's no padding whatsoever in here. I don't know why my brain automatically thought that there'd be some kind of support going on right here. Very bummed when I got it and realized that it's just in fact a crop vest. You have to find some sports bra to put underneath this and I just don't know what would go with a big ass hole in the manual, like what the fuck? Other than that, really cute and stylish, but 
Who knows what I'm gonna do with this? So glad I stuck with my true size. Bow and tee's really good like that. True size small all the way. Yeah. Let's start with the crop top here. No bra. I'm not wearing anything underneath it. It's just me and the crop top here. I really don't know what bra I would wear underneath. Maybe the Gymshark minimal training bras, but I actually think it's acceptable. Okay, you got a lot going on. You got the heavy rib, you got the acid wash distracting. I don't think anyone's gonna really see a nip. I don't think. Do I wish that there was at least an option to insert a padding? Yes, I do. I feel like that should just be a universal guarantee. Like just, just cut something in there, right? This is not double layered, so you're not able to cut out your own little slit. FYI, I know some gals say, hey, you know, if it's double layered, like the minimal training bras, you can cut a little insert and then throw your own pads in. This you can't because it's just, no, nah, you'll just, you'll just cut a hole. You'll just cut a hole in your top and then you're gonna look like Regina George, okay? But start a fashion trend, why not? Other than that, this is super freaking comfortable and adorable. Cleavage looks okay, looks okay. I gotta shift my titties around a little bit. Not bad for my small gals here. The high neck is so sophisticated, so classy. I would not be working out in this. Like, no way. Uh uh. Especially because there's no actual support. You just jumping. It's just, I'm gonna pop a boob right out of this, this big ass hole we got going right in here. The zipper. Very comfortable, actually. You're not really feeling it digging in, but <laughs> very cool way of, like, you can even wear it like I wouldn't, because I just feel. Actually, it's not really moving now that I'm thinking about it, right? It's not really moving. Now, obviously, if you're not wearing it, you could zip this up and down all day, but when you're wearing it, this is extremely difficult to zip back up. Keep that in mind. Like, I unzipped this and I couldn't, while I was wearing it, I could not get it back zipped for the life of me. As far as the leggings go, the petite length is so special. I'm glad that they actually have this option. I wish every brand had that option. These are very thick leggings. Like, there's no doubt about this. This is more or less if you're in a cooler environment. Like I wouldn't be caught dead wearing this in summertime. It just overall feels like a real heavy yet durable material. Like I feel like this would really hold up in the gym. Not a crazy amount of stretch, but it is very comfortable and does move with your body. For example, if you're weightlifting, like I love to weightlift, I, I would totally lift weights in this. The scrunch is very comfortable. It's noticeable as hell in not so much of a good way, <laughs> but it's comfortable. When I'm squatting down, it's not intruding too far up there, if you know what I mean. It's, it's okay. And just like I thought, it is super squat proof. So that's a plus. I really didn't think otherwise. Between the thickness, the design, the texture, I really did anticipate these being fully squat proof. From the side, glutes look stellar. The scrunch is doing its job. It's, it's situating the glutes and it's making them pop. The contouring's also helping. You have the heavy rib paneling underneath, so everything is supporting your glute area. So it, they do stand true to what they say on the site. But when you're looking straight from the back here, that's the most obvious scrunch I've ever seen. You're gonna see somebody wear this from across the room and just know it. Which is a shame, because I feel like it's such a waste of a scrunch. <laughs> In my opinion, I don't want it to be that noticeable. And it's a shame because I don't want these leggings to go to waste. There's so much potential in them. I would probably compare the breathability to say, the Gymshark camo leggings. Still got that thickness, same type of breathability. With that being said, I would give them a complete true to size. If you're in between, I would maybe suggest sizing up because there's not a huge ton of stretch in this legging. And it is semi-compressive, so keep that in mind. I do think that if you're in between, sizing up is the route you might wanna take. Is it good at wicking sweat? 10, lucky number 10. All right, so it's been a few minutes. Like I anticipated it, it's, it's still pretty, pretty soggy right here. <laughs> I thought so with this thickness that it doesn't completely wick very fast. So yeah, my, my overall final thoughts of this set, even though there were little things like, oh man, I wish this had bra pads. I wish the scrunch was not as, <clears throat> you know, in your face like, hello. Other than those minor little preferences that I have, these are solid pieces. They are durable pieces. I don't see myself ever ripping holes in this. Like this is some durable, durable quality stuff. For $47 seamless leggings and a $37 crop top, not bad. Even though I wouldn't necessarily wear this to the gym, like actually I, I might probably return these leggings because I'm, 
I'm not gonna wear that <laughs> to the gym, so it'll go to waste. Now, just because I feel a certain way about these pieces does not mean you should too. If you're digging this look and you're like, oh my God, I wanna wear this to the gym, do it. Like you will have a damn good workout in these pieces. And do not get it twisted. Like I had a really good first impression overall with these pieces. So this only makes me wanna explore Bowen T just a little bit more. All right guys, so what are we thinking about the new Bowen T Accelerate collection? Is this something that you would wanna get your hands on? Pass? Are you even interested in Bowen T? <laughs> Ultimately with this set, makes me feel very pretty, but not something I would necessarily wear on a workout in. Bowen T is one of those brands that I haven't tried a whole lot of, but what I have tried is pretty impressive to me. So let me know if you'd like to see more Bowen T reviews. I'm pretty sure with the rate of their launches, we could have like a Bowen T video every other week. Just saying. But do not sleep on that women's best. I've been seeing them everywhere. Women's best has just taken over the internet. Now they got their women's best wear. Instagram, like, so I really wanna put some of their leggings to the test for you guys. Lululemon, we actually got the Bliss Feel sneakers that they just came out with. I have a feeling I'm gonna love them, but I'm gonna have the first impressions for you guys coming soon. And do not get it twisted, we're gonna have some more Alpha Lee and Gymshark unreleased videos coming soon. We actually have Buff Bunny's new Most Wanted collection. That'll be coming up next for you. I believe that's the next video coming up. So stay tuned for that. Really, really cute pieces. So definitely hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you found it helpful. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video.